Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Castro back at you with Plugin Boutique and it's time for the third video in the tutorial series on getting started with the Reason Rack plugin. In this video, we're gonna be talking about side chaining. I'm gonna show you how to get an external source into the Reason Rack plugin to do some side chaining with the compressor inside of there. And I'm also gonna show you how to do it right inside of the Reason Rack plugin as well. Let's go ahead and get started. Right now, I've just got a very simple patch being triggered by the matrix pattern sequencer and a little bit of reverb. So that's what it sounds like. If I come over to the browser, we're gonna be doing sidechain compression, so we're gonna to need to add the compressor. So if I come in down here to the M-Class compressor, drop it on there. And if I pull down the threshold, you'll see that we're compressing the signal. As I said in previous videos, for the most part, Reason Rack plugin is going to do automatic routing for you, so we don't need to worry about it. And you can see that here audio output from the synth into the reverb, then from the reverb into the compressor, out of the compressor into the output to the host DAW. Perfect. Now you can see right here that I've got sidechain in. So the question is, how do I get sidechain like from my project's kick into the Reason Rack plugin to trigger the compressor? If you look over here in the IO device up here at the very top, you'll see that I have a sidechain signal outputs right here or inputs rather. So what I wanna do over here is duplicate my kick track inside of Ableton Live. And in the audio two section, I wanna send it to the Reason Rack plugin. And if you click on the second drop down here, you'll see that I have two options. And this has to do with what we're looking for. And if you look right here, the second option has sidechain in it. So that's the one we're gonna be looking for. Boom. Now what I can do is essentially that audio from that channel is going to be fed into this IO device. And then I need to take it from the IO device and put it down here into the side chain on the compressor. When I do that with the left one, the right one is automatically routed because the Reason Rack plugin is intelligent that way. And if I flip over here and make sure that that audio is playing, you can see that I'm getting that pumping sound from that kick drum inside of my DAW. And it's that simple. Now, what if I want to use a internal source? I don't want to go through all the routing. So what I'm going to do is flip back over here and just click this one and kind of drag it. And if you just drag it to some place that doesn't have an input output system, it will just automatically delete that for us. That's perfect. I'm going to come over to instruments, drop the redrum on here. And now I'm going to take the, you can see here, left output. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the side chain. And again, it's going to automatically do that for the right channel as well. Flip back over here and for that channel, make sure it's selected. I'm gonna go ahead and add our four to the floor. And if I go ahead and play this now, you can see that I'm getting my compression. I'm getting in the same thing. It's a side chain compression to this kick drum. Now, maybe I wanna make it hit harder to trigger better. And just to show you that it's actually getting that information, let's make a sort of breakbeat pattern. You can see that it's being triggered by whatever pattern I put down here. So if you wanna do it internally inside of the Reason Rack plugin, just use Redrum and do that kind of routing here in the back. And if you wanna use it from your actual project or whatever you're working on outside, inside of your DAW, just Make sure to have the side chain from the IO section at the top and just make sure you're routing that MIDI right into the side chain option inside of the Reason Rack plugin. It's that simple and very, very powerful. Anyway, that concludes this video on side chain compression with the Reason Rack plugin. And we got two more videos to go. So make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be updated when the videos are posted to our channel. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.